We are disciples of Jesus, grace and peace from God the Father and the Lord Jesus. Amen. Our text today describes for us Jesus facing the desperate search for healing, blessings, anger of God, and the despair of the multitudes that were looking for him and his disciples. I wonder if we would do the same today if Jesus were visiting Tampa. We are in need to touch God and receive healing. I need healing, you need healing, but healing is not only a physical event, healing is also a condition of peace that we reach when we feel that God is not indifferent to us. Even if we have to struggle, even if we have to beg and fight to touch even the fringe of his cloak, we do not feel that we are abandoned or left behind because we find that our search and fight is always a manifestation of what it means to have faith. Would we be able to recognize Jesus, the Good Shepherd, if he comes back today as an incognito? In the Gospel we can read, as he went ashore, he saw a great crowd, and he had compassion for them, because they were like sheep without a shepherd. Confusion is one of the big consequences of illness and suffering. We are confused because we don't know how our condition will evolve and how it will end. Confusion is overwhelming because although we try to do everything good, just one mistake can bring us into a desperate situation. That is how we feel when we are experiencing tribulation. We may wonder then what God has to do with all this, where God is in this moment and where Jesus is. Where is God in times of uncertainty and disaster? The Gospel says that Jesus is near and is ready to show compassion. Jesus is near and is ready to be found and touched when it's needed. Our search for meaning moves us also to our search of healing. And we need to try to put ourselves in context with the multitudes that were like sheep without a shepherd. And we need to find the Good Shepherd, Jesus, coming to help us and rescue us. But the way to this rescue and relief comes needs to be understood under the sign of the cross. The cross means suffering, but not a meaningless suffering. It's rather a redemptive suffering. Jesus suffered on the cross. Jesus died on the cross, but his suffering and death were not meaningless. They were redemptive. They were salvific. They were showing us what the real meaning of human existence is when we put our human existence in the context of the eternal life that God is giving to us. Maybe it's time to recognize that healing is a condition of being, a condition that means that we are ready to be close to God in any circumstance and in any moment of our existence. And here I am talking about human existence. And I am describing human existence as the Bible describes it. Human existence as creation of God, a creation that has been redeemed and by grace alone has the promise of eternal life. Human existence in a context of the cross and the resurrection. Human existence as cross and empty tomb. Human existence as earthly and eternal in heaven. That means that when I'm talking about our human existence, I'm not only talking about our earthly human existence, because we are not atheists or materialists that live their life believing that this earthly life is all that we have. I believe that we are more than this earthly life. We begin here, but we transcend this time and space. That is why when I mention the term human existence, I'm describing the totality of who we are. We are created to be human beings that have been called to live with God eternally. Yes, we are broken. Yes, we are sinners. Yes, we are weak. Yes, we were born one day and we will die one day. But this is not the totality of our human existence. This is just one part of the journey. We are more than just dust. 
We are a new creation in Christ, a new humanity in Christ. We are people that have received the promise of eternal life and people that have a destination waiting for us in the house of our Father in heaven. So it is through that understanding of our human existence that I want to invite you to embrace the meaning of healing. Healing is part of the plan of God for the new creation in Christ. And healing is something that includes the understanding that this life is not all that we have. That we have eternity planted in our hearts. That we are children of God and we have part in the future of the renewed world that is described in the book of Revelation. See, the home of God is among mortals. He will dwell with them. They will be his people. And God himself will be with them. He will wipe every tear from their eyes. Death will be no more. Mourning and crying and pain will be no more. For the first thing has passed away. Adding in his conclusion, See, I am coming soon. My reward is with me to repay according to everyone's work. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, the beginning and the end. Blessed are those who wash their robes so that they will have the right to the tree of life and may enter in the city by the gates. When we talk about healing, we are talking about our complete human existence in this perspective. We are talking about something more than just being healed temporarily from an earthly illness. What is good? And that is a blessing that the Lord has given us many times during our lifetime. But we are talking about healing here in the perspective of the new creation in Christ. Healing in light of the vision of the new Jerusalem. Healing in accordance with the promise of a definitive and completed union with our Creator and Savior. That is why we look for Jesus always. We should not look for Him to just patch a flat tire when it's needed, or to fix the holes in our ship when our boat is leaking. The real disciple doesn't see God just as a fixer of what is temporary. The real disciple looks for eternity and for complete communion with God, not only for a temporary relief that is not bad and is really necessary too, but for God itself. Because the desire of our car should be to be with God in Christ always. We're invited to search, call, knock, and so forth, not only for a temporary emergency, but as a sign and commitment to a complete human existence dedicated to celebrate the eternal life now and enjoy it forever in the world to come. May the Lord always bless us with his promise and healing according to his will. Amen.